Now with the area's certified most accurate forecast six years in a row, meteorologist Chad Raithlisberger. Well, we saw plenty of sunshine across the area on this Monday that helped temperatures get back to more seasonable levels in the low to mid 50s. Earlier this afternoon, still some lower 50s in Appleton. Uh, and you can notice those mid to high level clouds starting to move in on our Storm Team 5 Skyview camera that is powered by a pillow of windows and doors. Dry at the moment in Appleton. We are dry 47 right now in Sturgeon Bay with a little filtered sunshine. And right now in Green Bay, still plenty of sun at the moment, 53 degrees. The uh, wind's fairly light right now. Those winds will generally be out of the south to southeast at around 5 to 10 miles an hour through the evening and overnight. Dry for the next several hours, but by about midnight and thereafter, we will have a chance for a few rain showers across the area, maybe a few rumbles of thunder at times here late tonight and into early Tuesday morning as well. Temperature wise, we're at 43 up at Washington Island, 46 in Manitowoc, 43 in Anago. The rest of us, for the most part, in the low to even some mid 50s right now. So some weather headlines for you. Again, a few scattered rain showers expected late tonight into early Tuesday morning. Better rain chances arrive Wednesday, Thursday and into at least the first half of the day on Friday. Some of that rain could be heavy at times, so we'll be watching those river levels very closely later on this week. And there's still snow across the Northwoods as well, so plenty of melting snow expected across the Northwoods on top of one and a half to potentially two and a half inches of rain we're expecting in that three day period. So plenty to uh, keep a close eye on here over the next several days. Satellite radar has been fairly quiet for our area much of the day. Now you can notice some mid to high level clouds starting to push into central and northern Wisconsin. What you see on the radar to the north and west, a lot of this not hitting the ground just yet. We have two storm systems, one off to our north and west, another to our south and west. It's this warm front that tries to make its way northward later on tonight. And as it does so, It'll help produce some more showers and maybe a couple storms here late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So future casts through your overnight showing at least fairly quiet weather in the short term. Here's 10 o'clock still fairly dry across the area with mostly cloudy skies. Now as that warm front approaches, here's now 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. Notice some of those showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms across the area. The closer you are to the Wisconsin UP border, you might actually stay dry. It's areas to the south that have the best chance it's looking at some of this rain here early tomorrow morning. By about 8 o'clock on your Tuesday, a lot of this rain now coming to an end and we could actually get back into a little sunshine late in the day on Tuesday before more clouds arrive Tuesday night ahead of our next storm system. This one will be a little bit stronger. It will make its way towards Wisconsin Wednesday into Thursday and give us plenty of showers and even some storms Wednesday and Thursday before it finally moves out to the north and east by early Friday. Maybe a couple of lingering showers early Friday and it looks like we'll get back into a little sunshine by Friday afternoon. But again, we're talking about the potential for some heavy rain. We're looking at widespread one and a half to two and a half inches of rainfall expected by late this week. As for tonight, look for increasing clouds, a chance for showers, maybe a rumble of thunder after midnight with low temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. And then for your Tuesday, maybe a spotty shower early, otherwise partly cloudy temperatures in the upper 40s near the lake. The rest of us in the mid to upper 50s. Here's your seven day planner. Rain looking likely Wednesday into Thursday, wrapping up by early Friday. Your weekend looking fantastic. More sunshine with high temperatures in the low to even some mid 60s. The Kagan Allergy Report right now showing pollen is high and mold at the moment is low. And for morning forecast, you can find it on our Storm Team 5 weather app. That's right on the App Store and on Google Play. A beautiful Easter weekend. Fantastic. Maybe right. a couple showers late Sunday, but right now most of the day looking dry. All right. All right. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Chad.